guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and for today's video, ituturo ko po sa inyo how to construct photographic projection. Bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, ay huwag kalimutang mag-like and panoorin ng buo ang video na to para may matutunan ka. And then, subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa ating mga video tutorial na ginagawa ko. Alright, kung ready ka na, Tara, samahan nyo ako, sabay-sabay tayong matuto. Procedures in Constructing Orthographic Projection okay. Una, ihanda ang following tools and materials. Mayroon tayong T-square, triangle. Sa triangle, ito yung gagamitin natin. Ito, ayan, yung 45 by 45 by 90 degree triangle. Then, pencil, Technical pen, drawing paper, eraser, masking tape, then drawing table. Okay. To draw orthographic views of the given pictorial drawing, first determine the number of views needed. Then decide which surface will become the front view. Establish the space needed between views for dimensioning and calculate the center of the drawing. Ito yung given pictorial drawing. So, meron siyang mga dimension. Yan. Yung gagamitin nating dimension dyan is millimeter. Okay. 10 millimeter. Yan. 20 millimeter. Yan. 10. 10, 20. Yan. May 14. Okay. And then, hanapin natin yung front view. Ito yung front view nya. Ha? Yan. Yan. Yung front view. Tapos, ito yung side view. Tapos, ito naman yung top view. Yan. And then, maglagay tayo ng space para sa dimensioning natin. And then, i-calculate natin yung center ng ating drawing. And then, proceed na tayo sa steps. Okay, step 1. Draw vertical axis and two horizontal parallel axis with at least 2 cm or more apart. Okay, so meron akong demonstration dyan. Ayan, panoorin nyo. At, eto na siya ngayon. Yan. Right? Then, step 2. Indicate or supply marking lines according to the given dimension of the width of the top view, height of the front view, and depth of the top view. Okay, meron ulit akong demonstration. Yan. Ito na siya. Yan. So, may markings na tayo. Then, step 3. Construct the enclosing box of the top view and front view by projecting the marking lines horizontally and vertically. Ito na siya. Ayan. So, meron na tayong enclosing box. Then, step 4. 
Construct diagonal line at 45 degree angle using 45 by 45 degree angle triangle from the upper right corner of the enclosing box of the front view. Then, ito na siya ngayon. So, ayan. So, ito yung uh, triangle natin. Dito siya sa upper right corner. Okay? Step 5. Project down the two intersecting points to get the width of the right side view and to form its enclosing box. na siya. Okay. Right? So, next step. Okay. Divide proportioning distance of top view and front view by indicating markings. Okay. Meron na akong demonstration. Ayan. Panoorin nyo. Ito na siya ngayon. Ayan. Okay. So, tuloy-tuloy lang. Step 7. Draw the details of the top view, front view, and the right side view by projecting the marking lines horizontally and vertically. Malapit na. Next. Okay. Step 8. Okay. Darken the final edges of the top view, front view, and the right side view. Okay. So, the darken na daw natin yung uh, final edges. Ito yon. So, kung makikita nyo yung itim, yan na yun. Okay. So, so, top view. Ito naman sa front view. At ito naman sa right side view. Pero may mapapansin kayong hidden line dito. Okay, yan yung hidden line sa top view. So, nire-represent niya yung uh, itong linya na to. Yung sa ilalim. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo yan, sa ilalim, diretso yan doon. Okay, so dito naman, diretso rin yan doon. Okay, so since hindi siya makikita rito sa taas, sa top view, so, ginawa natin ng hidden line para ma-represent niya yung linya sa baba. Ayan, dito. Okay? So, dito naman sa right side view, meron din hidden line. Ayan. So, nare-represent niya naman yung ganun pa rin. Dito pa rin sa baba. Alright? Ayan. Okay, yan yun. So, since hindi siya nakikita dito sa right side view, so, kailangan natin gawin ay maglagay ng hidden line para ma-represent niya yung line na nasa loob. Alright? So, sana ay naintindihan niyo yung explanation ko. Alright? So, next step. Divide the space provided for dimensioning by indicating marking lines. Ito na siya ngayon. Ayan. So, meron tayong markings para sa uh, dimensioning. Okay? Step 
then draw the line for dimension and extension lines by projecting the marking lines horizontally and vertically and supply arrows on the tip end of dimension lines ito na siya ngayon yan so kita nyo may dimension line na extension line and then may arrow na sa tip end ng ating dimension lines Indicate both detail and overall dimension. Okay, so lagyan na ng uh, detail and overall numerical dimension. So, ito na siya. Yan. So, meron na siyang detail and overall numerical dimension. Step 12. Label the top, front, and right side views. Finally, erase the construction lines. Ito na siya. Yan. So, meron na siyang top view, front view, side view. Okay. So, and then, final step. Yes, final step na tayo. Yan. Drafty says, check your drawing carefully before handing it to your instructor. So, ibig sabihin, i-check nyo ng maayos yung drawing nyo. Huwag magmamadali. Make sure na may pangalan uh, at may title yung drawing nyo. And then, kung sure na kayo sa drawing nyo, ay pwede nyo na siyang ipasa sa inyong instructor. Okay? So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to. And, again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, also hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating mga video tutorial. So, that's it. And, God bless.